Hello everyone and welcome to Meadow Grove. We're going to be playing Farming Sim. I am going to start a bit of a series I know I talked about in my last video of Farming Sim, uh, which was on the Old Stream Farm. Now, I like Old Stream Farm, but it wasn't for me, and I knew this map was coming out prior to it, but I thought, uh, actually I like Old Stream better, but it turned out I didn't, so I decided to just wait till this um, map was finished and released on Giant. So, here we are. The map has been released. Now, we're gonna we're gonna role play I guess that we've sold Marwell um, Manor that uh, myself Brandon and Jeremy played on, uh, and we've moved on and we've brought this um, little dairy up here on, you know, in the world of Meadow Grove I guess. So we've just driven all the way from the manor. Um, we have our horse in the back. I've already forgotten his name, but we'll remember that eventually. Um, but yeah, it's been a long drive. We just stopped here at this um, David's Tasty Burgers. Got a Got a bite to eat, and we're about to head up to the rest of the farm, so... Away we go, I guess. Wait for this car to go past. Um, I've driven around the map a tiny bit to have a bit of a look, but I think we can explore most of it together, because... That's kind of what I think we should do. I've got no idea really where I'm going. I think we make a right here. I think. Who really knows though? So, yeah. Um, we also, the 6M that we had on the manor, that's also been trucked here. So we will have one tractor. We've got to go and buy the rest of our machinery though. We've only got one million dollars and that's probably because I sold all the vehicles that were originally here on the map. So. Um, we've got a bit over a mil. I think we have like 1.2 or something to spend. But that should be exciting, I think. We'll probably start off pretty small with some pretty old machinery to begin with, I reckon. Until we can sort of work our way into the kind of money where we can afford some of the newer stuff. But we will start off with the 6M. I don't go anywhere without my 6M. We'll just leave the ute here. So this is the dairy. Meadow Grove Farm. Let's have a look. So it looks like we have a shed here. Storage shed. Oh yep, she opens up. Perfect. That's what we want. What do we got over here? A little bit of an area to maybe park some vehicles or something. I'm not really sure what this bit here is. That's alright. We'll figure it out as we go. This looks like the cow yard for the dairy. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice big yard. Plenty of room for the cows. Perfect. Uh, I am hoping to do some sheep in this series as well, so... Um, yeah, that should be exciting and different. Looks like we've got a bit of a cattle yard and crush. I haven't done sheep yet. So this will be something new for me, something new for you guys to watch me do, I guess. That is really cool that they put a cattle crush in there. Uh, what's this? This looks like the dairy. Like I said, I haven't really explored this at all. Oh yeah, it's a little heron bone. Looks like maybe a tenor side. We'll go out this gate, I guess. Jump that. Bit more of a shed. Bit of a storage one over there, I guess. Workshop, perfect. Silage bunkers. Bit more of a shed. We'll just jump the gates. There's a lot of effort, looks like it's gone into this map. I like how there's just little pallets of, you know, wood here and some metal. It just adds a bit. Gives it a bit of character. Skip. This is really nice. Looks like we've got a bit of some leaves here of some type of different weed maybe. Some bricks, another shed. We don't own that paddock there, so that's not our land, but we might buy that eventually once we get a bit more money. So that's pretty neat. Nice, neat, um, you know, yard and dairy and all that. That's pretty cool. Does these, does that, oh, lights do work. That's cool. 
Very nice. I can't believe I forgot my horse's name. That's pretty sad. But um, wh what are we going to do, I guess? Now this must be our house. So here we have the house. We've also got some trees and another shed. Some more wood. This is very neat. Oh, it, the garage even opens. Perfect. That's pretty cool. We'll close that back up. But a dog. We might have to get a dog. I hear a dog. I don't see a dog though. We've got a little veggie patch here. Barbecue. Perfect. Oh, we can go inside. That's cool. We might save that one for another day though. But I'm thinking we might just head down to the horses and we'll just have a bit of an explore for this episode. A little bit of a pond, that's pretty cool. With some boxes in it. Why is there boxes in there? That's interesting. We'll just jump that wall. We'll take a run back down to the ute. I've literally drove to here once and to look at the property to before we brought it. I took a drive down to the horses where they'll be staying before I brought, you know, the horse with us. And it's funny, I can memorise pretty much where I'm going quite nicely, which is nice. Even got a sign there that says Dairy Farm. It's a very neat farm overall, the map is very nice. Very nice. This is where the horses are going to stay. Well, our one horse. We'll open up this gate. So this is the horse pen. This is also a stable, as you can see. We'll go ahead and drop the horse in here. I will remember his name. Her name. It's definitely not Turk. But that's okay. We'll put... We'll put her in there. We'll change her name later. We'll have to get her some water at some point. That is a pretty neat little yard for them to ride around in and stuff. That's pretty nice. Very happy with that at... Nice shed as well. Put some stuff in. There's plenty of gates on this map. I really like the gates and the fences. That's something that I always look in in a map is fences and gates. I, I'm a, personally, I prefer to have lots of fences and gates as opposed to no fences. But that's probably just because of how I was brought up and where I live. Everything's fenced off, I guess. We probably could have left the horse box there, maybe. I don't really know. But um, we'll drop the ute and the horse box off at the house. I have heard um, that the truck the truck with the 6M that was coming from the manor isn't too far away as well. He was probably 10 minutes behind us, so um, once I get to the house, I'll probably make a phone call and go and meet the truck somewhere. We'll bring the truck up the rest of the way. The truck, um, we that's a hired truck. Um, we hired that in Marwell, so that'll probably return back there, but we thought it would get the job done here just to get our John Deere up here anyway. We thought it was better to have at least one tractor down here for the farm. And we sold the rest of the machinery, obviously, to purchase this place. We'll just back this in here, I guess. I think that'll work for me. Um, we might even just... I mean, it's our road anyway, this bit here, so we might as well just park here. 
I'll go inside and make a phone call and we'll see where our truck is with the um, 6M. We should be able to get through the front door, I would imagine. Perfect. Lounge room. Like a library, maybe a reading room, I guess you could call it. Kitchen. But anyway, guys, we're just going to make a phone call. We're going to find out where our truck is and, yeah. Alright, guys, um, I just, I went and met a neighbour really quickly, you know, trying to make some friends, get to know everyone around here really quick, and just ask for a lift down here to grab the truck, um, because apparently the truck driver had an emergency or something, he got here and then someone picked him up and took him, I don't know, he probably quit his job for all I know, I'm not really sure, but, um, we've got the 6M, she's, she's at Meadow, um, so let's go ahead and take her up to the dairy, for the rest of the way. And that way we'll at least have one one piece of machinery that we kind of require down here. And then we can start figuring stuff out and what we want to do and what to buy and stuff like that. She's a pretty big truck trailer, but it will fit up there nicely. So that's always good. But um, yeah, it's nice to see that the 6M has finally arrived. I was um, kind of worried that they might have got held up in traffic or something, but they didn't. Truck's having a bit of a hard time getting up the hill. But that's okay. But um, yeah guys, um, even if I... Actually, I might even let you guys decide what to call a horse. If you guys have any um, name suggestions... Um, you know, throw a comment and I'll be sure to look at the comments, guys. So, um, that's actually probably the best option. You know, if you have any ideas for a name for a horse, then go ahead and let me know. We're not going to make that. We're not truck drivers, we're tractor drivers. We don't drive trucks. Jeez, that's going to be tight. Rubbing up against the hedge, but that's okay. We might even just park it here and unload really quick. It's a pity the truck driver couldn't have brought the truck up the whole way. That would have been the nice thing to do, personally, I would have thought. Alright. Take it out of park. Lift the loader up a bit because we're going to have to get over the gate here. Just like that. Probably just park the John Deere in here for now, I reckon. I think that'll be the best spot for it. For now. I think that'll do it nicely. Alright. They do have a higher place down here um, with the same company, so we might just return the truck here and they can figure out what they want to do with it. That was always the plan anyway. There's no need for us to drive all the way back to the manor. Not our job. So we'll lift that up. I don't know how we ended up with this job anyway. So let's go ahead and take this down there. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, the, we, we returned the truck and the trailer, so that was all good. And then the guy was um, very apologetic and stuff about us having to drive the truck and all that. That he, he brought me up to the corner of the house and he dropped me off here. So that was really nice of him, saving me having to walk or get a taxi or something. So that's really good of him. So we just got home. So we'll jump back in the Dodge. And before I end the episode, we might just take a quick cruise around. Um, like I said, this was going to be a pretty cruisy, you know, first episode of Meadow Grove. And then hopefully next one we'll start getting into some stuff, you know. You know, maybe some cultivating, some sowing maybe, or maybe even some mowing, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what paddocks we own. I guess we could quickly have a look, actually. It's just going to have a save. So we own paddocks... Okay, so now we can see what's grass. We own 19, which is grass. 18's grass. 17's grass. 21's grass. 
20, it looks like it's, it's just been cultivated, so that kind of needs lime on it. And I unfortunately have the hiccup, so that's always good. Um, so what we might even do, to be honest, is maybe ha uh, some do some mowing and get some silage or something for the to begin with, because, I mean, the horse needs gr grass anyway. I'm pretty sure. Um, so that wouldn't be a bad idea. We could always also get paddock twenty and twenty four, put some lime on them and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. It is a pretty big map. It's got 83 paddocks or fields, whatever people want to call them, which is pretty neat. I don't know what happened to the P. That is meant to be a P. It was a P earlier. Let's see if we can... No, oh, don't know what happened to it. Um, anyway, that's a P there. For some reason, it's not showing. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, that's, that's more a placeable farm, so if you want to build a farm down there, you kind of can, which is pretty cool. Oh, I think I know what it is. It's because we have grass over it. See, there we go. There we go. But it's a pretty big map. And I'll, I do like it a lot. But um, we'll take a quick cruise this way. We'll go left. I've only actually really been right, so we'll have a quick squiz down here. Plenty of hills on this map, which I really enjoy. Look at that. We've got a bush in our way. I'm trying to look down the view. We'll just look in it in first person. There we go. Very nice view. It's a beautiful map. The creator did an amazing job. Looks like we've got a bit of a crop to our right there. make a right hand turn I guess and we'll continue this way for a bit of a look grass paddock there there's definitely no shortage of paddocks to buy that's for sure we're just gonna zip out here everything will be okay there we go like all these little dips in the roads like that so you, well not dips I guess um, I'm not sure what you call them just the grooves you know to make you so you can help you know do a wider turn and all that that's really helpful really good idea well that's another way to the dairy farm okay that's pretty cool oh the sheep farm let's have a look down there we'll just rub the hedge a little bit nothing too bad some very interesting shaped paddocks. That one's very odd. I'm not really sure where we're going. I said the sheep farm was this way. Maybe this is it up on the left here. Looks like we've got another road that goes that way. Jeez, all these paddocks look stunning. Really good job. There's another groove in the road. So this must be it here, maybe? I'm not sure how you get in there. Oh, up here. We've got some double gates. I don't think we own this. I'm pretty sure we don't. No, we don't. That costs 75 grand. So that's something we can look into, because I do want to do some sheep. Um, at some stage, so that costs seventy-five thousand dollars. But you know, there's no harm in having a quick look, is there? So a bit more of a shed. This must be the sheep yard, maybe where they get fed and stuff. Uh, maybe this is a vehicle workshop. Okay, so that's a vehicle workshop. Oh, this is where they get fed and stuff, okay. Well, what was... I don't know what that trigger over here was. What's this trigger? It's like water or something, I don't know. There's a trigger here, I'm not sure what that's for. Oh, that's to buy chickens. Is the chicken and... Oh, okay. So the chicken coop and the sheep are next to each other, okay. Now I understand. 
Gave way to another paddock. Pretty decent yard, that's not too bad. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm pretty excited for this map, to be honest, and pretty keen to start up a bit of a series on here, and I really hope you guys enjoy it, but that is going to do it for this one. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys want to watch and play this with me as well. Um, also, remember, if you have a horse name, let me know in the comments, and I guess I can choose one for the next video, and we can go from there on what we're going to call a horse, but... Yeah, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I appreciate you all for watching and your support, and I'll see you all next time.